striker Mason Greenwood will part ways with his club Manchester United just months after an attempted rape charge against him was dropped. The club conducted its own six-month internal investigation into the claims against the 21-year-old after formal charges were withdrawn. And while Manchester United says it's concluded Mason did not commit the offences in respect of which he was originally charged, there are difficulties with him recommencing his career at the club, and they will now work with Mason to find him a new one. Greenwood himself echoed that it was best for him to continue his career where his presence will not be a distraction for the club. Now, the news comes after a serious fan backlash following reports that United Chief Ex Executive Richard Arnold had told club staff to prepare for Greenwood's return. Supporters, including celebrity fan Rachel Riley, have threatened to withdraw their support from the club if Greenwood was to return. And staff at the club also reported reportedly threatened to strike or even resign if Greenwood was reinstated to the team. And obviously, I think one of the big issues with this is how long it took, you know, Manchester United to come to this decision. I think they were testing the waters by leaking that he was going to get back into the club um, just to see the, the, the level of public vitriol against, uh, against him. But uh, clearly that backfired and he is no longer going to continue his career with the club. I appreciate the fact that he, they obviously said the allegations against him were dropped and he's not legally been found guilty of what he's done. But we all saw the tape. We all know how unpalatable it would be. I mean, I, 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 I had to keep reminding people that yes, the charges were dropped. He hasn't legally been found guilty in the court of law. We have to remember to maintain that standard <clears throat> in as much as what we've seen. Um, we know that they're complicated to be as nice as I can put it is not uh, very palatable. It's, mm. it's a very complex uh, relationship. And uh, obviously we have to bear in mind the victim and not to, to speculate uh, so much in that regard. Um, but I, I do feel sorry for him, especially because of his age. This is someone who, like you said, he's made a mistake and he's ruined what could have been a fantastic career with one of the world's biggest clubs. He will now move to Saudi Arabia, um, <laughs> which I hope, Presume. Uh, you know, he will learn something about how to treat women I, I'll leave it there. <laughs> I'm, I am surprised with the backlash because, to be honest, I think speaking generally about the football world, I think most United fans didn't care that it was coming back. And, and there's, there's been, for the last year and a bit, people have been retweeting and saying, we want Mason Greenwood back. Yeah. People like Rachel Riley, she's a celebrity, but she's not that big a voice in the world of oh, football. Of so I'm surprised that they did release him, ultimately. But if it was my team, if I was the manager or the owner of the club, as soon as we'd seen those videos online, I would never have had him in a team I again. I mean, of course, because there's the instantly. issue of his reputation, right? It's, I not, the, I, I it's just, not the fact that he hasn't been found yeah, guilty. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. it's more the reputation, reputation of the club and you have he that should, Yeah, he shouldn't there. be there. And as a role model, because actually, you know, huge quantities of young people watch and love football. And, and these footballers, these stars, these celebrities, they are role models mm. mm -hmm. to so many people. So you're absolutely right, uh, you know, guilty until, uh, sorry, innocent until proven guilty and all that. But actually, in terms of a role model, and the reputational damage for, for, for the club, mm. uh, on that basis alone, United, should, they, it, yeah. they should have said much earlier, yeah. you can't come back. Exactly, and people are so quick to shout the, the whole innocent until proven guilty thing. Yes, that's in the eyes of the law, that's only legally speaking. Like you say, once those recordings had come out, there was absolutely no way that his position was still tenable. Mm. And yet, it was dragged on and on and on. I, I think a lot of people actually, there, were, there was a huge turnout in, in terms of um, season ticket holders who protested last week, um, which I, I thought was really impressive. And actually, what those fans have done is sent a signal out not just to women who support the club, but all women, to say that actually we will not tolerate this behaviour. And yet, the Manchester United female players, who also happen to be lionesses, were questioned last week as to whether or not they they were consulted on whether Mason should come back to join United but or I not, I think which was a huge distraction, and they should never have been consulted on no. that because it, the decision should have been made aside from I, that. I agree, but also I think it shows a lack of leadership. I think it also shows that we've got a real problem still, which is if somebody has a particular talent or a lot of money or a certain position or has value in some shape or form, then people seem to... It's not that I don't... I, I want people to be sort of, you know, guilty rather than, you know, unless, you know, if they're proven innocent and all that sort mm. of stuff. But it's actually that we seem to treat some people differently. And I also think that if you're in that position of privilege and uh, you have that special talent, actually you have to hold yourself to a higher account. Mm. And so does the club and so does the management. I think they've done a lot of damage by not taking a a simple and decisive decision yeah. to say, we're going to help you, we want you to learn from this mistake, but your, your place is not here. What happens now? He goes on to another club, still gets to earn fortune, still gets to play yeah. a beautiful game. My